gonna do these early because there's less people awake to make noises in the background. Hello and welcome to the Grudge Report. My name's Danny. Yes, yes, yes. Yesterday, I met some Chinese people. It's filming. It's filming. <laughs> there's a lot of people on this planet and it's gonna take a while to get to know them all. Studied a little bit of Chinese, tiny bit of Chinese. I know, uh, Ni hao ma. Ni hao. Ni hao. And thank you. Uh, xie xie. Yes. Xie xie. Um, uh, juba jie. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know some bad words. <laughs> I know swear words in every language. Every girl's like it. That's what I do. Have you been China? No, no, not yet. Soon though. Soon. Too well. Which cities? Uh, probably. I'm probably gonna go to the wall. The wall. The Beijing. Beijing. The Beijing. The, the great, great wall. Oh, the the big, wall. Yeah, the Great Wall of China. That's something wow. to see. I wanna walk it. You know. You know there is an old sentence says. If you walk, finish the great world, you are a big man. Big man. If real you can walk man. the whole wall of China, you are a big man. Yeah, a real big man. Real big man. <laughs> I want to be a real big man. A real big, big man. But it isn't all fun and games whilst traveling. There's some serious moments too. Apparently you can't flush toilet paper down the toilet. So you're supposed to wipe and then put it into this trash can right here. So that's gonna be something new for me to experience. I can try to abide by their rules. And if anything goes wrong, you know, I can just actually, I don't even need toilet paper. I can just shower while sitting on the toilet. Maybe that'll be my out. I'm learning a lot about myself. One thing I've learned is that no matter how shitty the bathroom is, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Today's show is sponsored by Daniel Booth, Thomas Hartland, Caitlin Pop, Dimitri, hooking it up again with the food, thank you buddy, Mark Stockwell, Donna Grimond, and my boundless enthusiasm for exploring space and time. One of the basic struggles of traveling is remaining fit. Fitness. Exercise. I prescribed the homebrew approach of doing what you can with what you have. likes to ignore me. Today, Jesus was leaving, so he was packing up while I was working out. He told me about the most beautiful beach on Catal. So naturally, begins our adventure to the Shark Bay, named after the mountain behind it, not for the contents within it. We take our humble bicycle. Perhaps the most important part of every journey is to not have to carry anything. I was able to fashion the backpack to the front of the bicycle. To the Bay of Sharks. The shark bay is that way. That way. And it's difficult. Yes, difficult. Difficult on a bicycle. But on a motorcycle, it's, it's okay. It's okay, difficult. Let's same, same. Same, same. Thank you. You're welcome. The wildlife of the countryside is exotic. I mean, exotic if like you were like in the center of New York City. I can see you, chicken. Come on, chicken. Come over here and cross the road. Answer the question. You know, like the Upper East Side of New York. Like you wouldn't see these animals in the center of New York City. Okay. Just come up the first hill. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll get your heart going for sure. Oh God, here comes another one. Holy shit. Okay. Jesus. This guy's got a lot of roosters. Probably one of those underground fighting situations. Ah, oh. okay, fuck this. Pushing the bike is good too. We're not, we're not like less, we're not like less manly because we're pushing the bike, you know? We're just more efficient. That's all that is, you know? Just more efficient. I mean, we're still getting there on human power. Like that's a thing I just invented. It's important. Hey look, 
Even out here in the middle of nowhere, there's a thousand wires going everywhere. You want a new phone line? Well, we're gonna have to run a new wire you know, from your house to the center. Yeah, every single person on the island has a dedicated phone line. Oh, good, a map. Shark Bay. Oh, that's fun. So I'll just get on your shoulders and we'll get on mine. And... <laughs> there you go. On to Shark Bay. Oh. Shark Bay. The magic and the mystery. We have arrived at Shark Bay after zero time of cycling. It was really easy to get here, to be honest with you. Sharks Bay was beautiful, but I couldn't get past the houses. I'll have to ask Jesus where the beach was. Oh wait, he's gone now. As a consolation to not being able to find a beach, it seems like the universe sent me a couple Pomeranians to enjoy. What are you doing? Hey! Hey! What are you doing to my mommy? But I was still beach hungry. So I went to Freedom Beach, which is right next door to Sharks Bay. Locked up the cycle, and entered a place I knew I could not afford. Stunning. This is stunning, darling. Absolutely stunning. Howdy. Can I get a water? Uh, small, please. There is the look of a man who realized that anywhere else on the island he could have bought six bottles of water for that same price. Which beckons the question, is the rich people beach nicer than any other beach? Ugh. Sand seems softer here. The granules that make up the sand are not as abrasive. Top drawer, darling. Absolutely, top drawer. So I laid out my blue towel and proceeded to get bored. Five seconds later, I had swam out to the middle of the bay and did a 360 oh. selfie thing. Which, you know, is a thing. On my way back, I met three Chinese guys. Where are you guys from? China. China. China? Yeah. They were apparently competitive swimmers. So naturally, I challenged them to a race. Cross the entire bay, get to the other side, and then come back. We made it. Woo! Team, team China. Yes, yeah, team China. <laughs> team China. <laughs> champion, you are champion. Thank you, thank you. Second, third. third place. We came from over there. We swam across the bay. They gave me a, they gave me a head start. They gave me a head start. Yeah. And then the rocks helped me. Seven years old. Seven years old you started Seven swimming. Seven years old, yes. Uh, and then now I'm in the county of Germany. Like all athletes that cross the finish line, we all knew where we stood in our relative fitness. 14 years ago. It was a really cool moment. Fuck. That's awesome. Well, thank you for swimming with me. I'm much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, Freedom Beach. We're getting a little picky at this point, but let's talk about it. This is your resort. Super expensive. This is your no parking sign. What blind, arthritic, cerebral palsy suffering woodsman did you get to paint that for you? It's ridiculous. Then back home where I had number 511, the no name vegetable. Just kidding, I got a salad. Because my vegetables must have a name. As I waited for my salad to arrive, I filmed myself. This is exactly how exciting that was. So I took off my shirt spice things up a bit, woofed down the salad, and called it a glorious day. Mmm. Green fresh drinking water. <sighs> Nothing says delicious like green. You know like there's bottles of water that are like expensive and then there's bottles of water that are like not? That one's like not. I got a hilarious, I got on a hilarious story about purchasing that water, which I will happily tell you next time. But right now what I wanted to say was that we have reached a tiny milestone. 
In the super lemon drop category, we have 18 super lemon drops. 18. I know it seems like a tiny number, but it's actually really huge if you think about it. This vine thing is kind of interesting. It adds another dimension to the depth of field. Get out of my face, Vine. The milestone that we've reached is $100 a month. I know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with all the money. Mm, mm. Now, I haven't mentioned any Super Lemon Drops in the, in the sponsored by in the beginning of the show, because I have something extremely special planned for them, which I will share with you now. I entered Thailand on January 26th. I had a two-month visa for 60 days. On March 26th, I will have to leave Thailand, but my stand-up comedy shows in Australia don't start until May 16th, which means from March to May, the entire month of April, plus some days in March, I will need to be somewhere else. What I'm gonna do is put together a list of like top five places, and then I'm gonna let the people who pay the monthly subscription, the super lemon drops, pick where I go. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even know myself. You will get to decide for me. It's like an interactive thing. I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a great, you know, to help incentivize people to, you know, sign up for the monthly situation. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a fun idea. I mean, you get to effectively choose where I go. There you go. So go sign up for that and, and get in the game and get in the game. Ugh. Oh, so delicious. Okay, I just, I just, I just waterboarded myself. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna drown. Green fresh. So fresh. So fresh. Did I just almost electrocute myself? Seriously, Thailand, what's with the wires?